Today we're into Timeless to try to end the game on turn two. The only problem is our deck's playing so risky, I'm not exactly sure who's gonna die, our opponent or us, but let's find out. So here is our super risky, very all in Rakdos Necro deck. And you might remember Necro. We actually just taught Arena Zoomers about it in a Storm Shell a couple of weeks ago. Today's deck, though, it's very different. While we still like the extra cards that Necro gives us, the real ability we're abusing with Necro is its ability to repeatedly exile a card from the top of our library. So the goal of our deck is get down Necro as fast as possible. But then the way we kill with Necro isn't so much the cards that it draws, although that does help, but it's with Layla the Blade Reforged, this 3-drop 2-2 two -two Haster that has an ability where whenever we exile one or more cards from our library into our graveyard, we put a plus one plus one counter on it. So this actually gives us a potential turn two kill with the deck. Let's say turn one, we Dark Ritual out Necro, and we don't activate it. Turn two, we Dark Ritual out Layla, and then we activate Necro 18 times. That's going to one by one exile 18 cards from the top of our deck. Yeah, we're going to get them all in our hand at the end of our turn, but we're not even going to make it to the end of our turn because we're going to put 18 plus one plus one counters on Layla and attack our opponent and kill them on the spot with a 20 power attacker. So that's the main goal of our deck. Our backup plan is Shadow Mortality and Death Shadow, these creatures that care about our life total being low. The other thing that Necro can do is come down early and put our life total to one if we want it to, or maybe we put it down to like seven to cast a Shadow Mortality for two mana. Uh, but either way, this sets our life total really low to make massive death shadows to get down shadows immortality on the cheap so if we don't have layla for the combo kill we just make massive death shadows and shadow immortalities and kill our opponent that way and then my favorite part of the deck we don't even necessarily have to attack to do this the last key card of the deck is callous cell sword a two mana two two blah 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 the big deal is it's a it's a thud it's a one mana fling effect for one mana we have a creature deal damage equal to its power to any target then we gotta sacrifice it so if we grow that 20 power layla but maybe our opponent has a chump blocker, so we can't just smash our opponent with it. Or maybe we get an attack with Death Shadow, but we don't quite have lethal damage. We can just throw these creatures at our opponent's face to close out the game that way. Otherwise, Thought Seize, a bunch of removal, Orcish Bowmasters, because it's busted, Demonic Tutor, because why not? We're in black. Mana base, pretty typical stuff, bunch of fetches and shocks and fast lands. In the sideboard, Graveyard Hate, bunch of removal, Duress Liliana for control. And that is Rakdos Necro. That's our deck for today. So let's jump into some games and see what happens. Do we kill our opponent on turn two? Do we kill ourselves on turn two? I don't know, but someone's going to be dying with this deck. So let's play some magic. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. We've got new tokens and playmats, and you can even get the token signed if you want. Check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. Let's see if we can get some turn two kills. <laughs> and let's see who dies. That's a big question. And this hand, not going to be a turn two hand, but it seems pretty good, right? Thought Seize, Bowmasters, Necro, Death Shadow. Seems reasonable. I think Necro might be my fam uh, favorite timeless card at the moment. Oh, Necro's so good. Molten Collapse, eh? Well, let's play a... Yeah, just Swamp and Thought Seize is fine. I don't think we need to uh, fetch shock here. Hmm. Karn, Fable, Bone Crusher. Which of these cards do we care about? Probably Fable? Bone Crusher, we don't really care. Yeah, I think that's fine. Hopefully, we'll be in a position where we're so far ahead, the Karn's going to be too slow. That's the idea. Okay, land is actually pretty excellent here. Uh, let's play the Fetch and Pass. So we can Flash and Bowmasters. Let's see if we get stomped here. All right, opponent's going to stomp our face. That's actually kind of good because it means our Bowmasters might live. Opponent. Field of Ruin, Moon Crush a Giant. Well, let's crack the Bloodstained Mire. Snag a Blood Crypt, untapped. And, huh, maybe we just bolt the Bone Crusher. This might actually be better. <laughs> yeah, let's kill the Bone Crusher and then, ooh, Dark Ritual. Oh, that's actually insane. Okay, that was like a really good draw. We were gonna have to choose between Death Shadow and Necro. Now we get to Dark Ritual out the Necro and play the Death Shadow. In theory, this should set us up for the win next turn, I think. So we need to hit our our fling. We need to hit a fling off the Necro, but we get to draw like a ton of cards. And then if our opponent just plays Karn, assuming we hit the fling, we hit him for a bunch, fling him for the rest, GG. 
Dark Ritual is so ridiculous. Dark Ritual and Necro together. <laughs> That's all I want to do in Timeless at this point is Dark Ritual and Necro. All right, down to four. Do we find the fling? Do we find the fling? Well, Demonic Tutor finds the fling. That works. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Our opponent needs to play a blocker. We'll discard the Necro and I guess this Bowmasters. Well, if our opponent plays Karn, they die. <laughs> <laughs> if they have a blocker, they might live. Let's see. We know he got the Karn. Our, our opponent doesn't know about the fling, right? Our opponent's going to play the Karn. Sure. So this should just be game. Our opponent doesn't know that we have the option to just kill right now. That's the power of this deck. Our opponent sees Death Shadow. I'm like, okay, like I can take the Death Shadow hit. Maybe they attack the Karn. I tutor something up. I'll be good. No. That, wow, they're getting pissy. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, it's a little late to Pithing Needle the Necro. We're at four. Like, how many times are we actually going to activate it? Demonic Tutor. Our Callus Elsword. Probably better known as Fling. Uh, we might as well max out this Death Shadow with our Necro. Go down to one. Go to combat. And Shadow you for 12. And then throw the Shadow at you for 12. Well, <laughs> It looks like we get this one. It looks like we get this one. Oh, uh, we almost killed ourselves, but in the end, we killed our opponent. <laughs> Necro! Sweet, sweet, sweet. We are... Oh my god. Wait, is this a turn two kill hand? This is a dream. Oh my god, this is the dream. Necro... Okay, Dark Ritual Necro. Dark Ritual Layla. Turn two kill. I mean, opponents on the play, they could have... They could have defense, right? They could have a blocker. If they cannot stop this Layla, though... This is actually the fastest kill. Well, I don't want to say possible. There's probably a turn one kill somehow in Timeless. But uh, <laughs> this is the fastest kill we have ever had in Timeless. That's for sure. Oh, come on, opponent. No no thought seizes. No removal. Just, <laughs> just accept the death. All right, we will keep. I mean, this is literally the perfect hand. We even have, like, the Shadow Mortality as a backup opponent. Okay, leads on a Fabled Passage. That is good news. So our opponent's not doing anything on turn one. The funniest part of this kill is we are going to Dark Ritual out Necro, and we are not going to activate it. <laughs> we want all the activations with Layla on the battlefield, if possible. So Dark Ritual... Run out the run out the necro. It looks so awkward. <laughs> I think this normally if you run out necro, you are instant activating a bunch of times. The, I think this is the one deck that I could imagine that you run out necro and are, oh my god, they played a tap land. Oh my goodness, we got it. They have a single green mana. Unless they're living in the fog meta. <laughs> this should just be the kill. Uh we will take a we'll take a swamp. We will dark ritual to get Layla out, and uh, now we get to have some fun. Okay, so this is the main synergy here. Necro, exile a card, grow the Layla. <laughs> Necro, exile the card, grow the Layla. We can do this to get Layla to 20 power here. Like we go all, literally all the way. This is the dream. This is why we built the deck, was this exact kill, and we're already pulling it off. Exile, exile. <laughs> it's so funny, like, in this context, Necro, maybe the best card advantage engine in Magic's history or on the short list, we don't care about the cards. This is an enchantment that is pay a life, exile a card. That is <laughs> that is why we're playing Necro here. We're not even going to see these like 18 cards that we exile. Layla, 15, 16. It, we get one for free too, so we only like, technically, a little, technically have to go to 19. Uh, 18, down to 3. 19 down to two and then we go to combat and then we swing and Layla exiles and goes to 20 and that's how you kill someone literally on turn two I mean we almost killed both players on turn two but uh <laughs> the dream the dream has been lived all right well pack them up that's uh that's a wrap all right we are playing the riskiest deck in Timeless. We are playing some uh, all-in Rakdos Necro. Oh, God. All the Dark Rituals in the world don't let you play Shadow Mortality without uh, without losing some life. <laughs> I think we just mulligan this. This hand just doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess we... Always, if we draw a Necro, our hand does something. But I don't think we want to risk it. Like, we literally do nothing, nothing if we don't top deck here. Dark Ritual gets us to what? Like, five mana? Yeah, that's just not going to do it. Oh, all right, this hand is lovely. Uh, well, this hand is actually excellent, right? The question is, what do we put to the bottom? So we want Dark Ritual, we want Necro. Probably the Bowmasters. So we can turn one Necro, turn two... Actually, 
Maybe we don't need the Thoughtseize. Turn one Necro. Turn two Death Shadow War Bowmasters, depending on the matchup. Oh, don't Thoughtseize us. Oh, Stitcher Supplier. Oh, okay. There's this dredge deck that's been floating around in Timeless, and it's actually actually kind of scary, especially in Best of One, where you don't have a sideboard. In the sideboard, most decks are going to have Graveyard Hate, right? Like, even just because Lurus loops, but in Best of One, dredge, I think, is kind of busted. Well, uh, let's do our thing. Dark Ritual. Necro. And draw some cards. So we're probably gonna need, hmm, probably gonna need some sort of fling kill, I guess. Well, we get to draw five. Gonna have to discard a couple. Ooh, all right. Let's get rid of the Bowmasters and a Bolt. So, I mean, we get to add a lot of power to the battlefield. We are killing ourselves. <laughs> we're gonna have to go down to at least seven, which is risky. Because Dredge probably has Creeping Chill. But, I mean, next turn, we have Dark Ritual. So we make four mana. So we can, like, draw a bunch Thoughtseize, Death Shadow, Shadow Mortality. Opponent, Mills, three. Okay, relatively harmless cards. Awkwardly, these Stitcher Suppliers are kind of good blockers, which is not the best. That is a downside. Like, the Fling lets us get through blockers. But we really need to get in one attack with a creature to be able to fling for lethal unless we get the Layla combo. Well, okay. Uh, let's play a Castle Lockway. Up to four mana. Thoughts ease you. Oh, Ashiok Jace, Narc Amoeba, Founding. Opponent only has two lands. I think. Oh, so the most powerful card's Jace and Ashiok. Jace number one for sure. I think we have to take the Founding and hope our opponent does not draw land. Uh, all right, let's Necro at least enough to get down the Shadow. We can go to, what, seven? So Necro down to seven. Yeah, play Death Shadow. Play Shadow of Mortality. Exile, Exile. We want to stay out of the range of a Creeping Chill, but we also need to find the Fling. Wow, it's a lot of Dark Rituals. Mon collapse. Ugh. All right, that was not great. All right, we did not find the fling. So the problem here is the Stitcher suppliers trigger when they. Oh no, they drew the. Hmm. Okay, that's that's another problem. So opponent drew the land, which is the one thing we didn't want to see. Yeah, we were really hoping they would not find the land and just have to hard guess Narc Amoeba, but instead we're probably gonna get Ashiok. Sure. Jace might be even better, honestly. I probably would have run out Jace and just milled nine, but I guess Ashiok mill four is fine. All right, well, more prized amalgams, no creeping chill. The problem is we have to attack. We're not gonna win without attacking, but when we attack, our opponent's gonna get to mill six more. Although I guess the ship has just sailed, right? Like they get to mill, yeah, let's, yeah, this is bad no matter what we do. I think we just go face. We're going to have to get lucky to win this game, so go face. So the problem is, opponent gets to mill six from Stitcher Supplier, four from Ashiak, that's ten, and then Jace is at least nine. There's no way they don't hit Creeping Chills, and Creeping Chills get Silver Smokes, gets Prized Amalgams. All right, opponent. Okay, no Creeping Chill. Oh, there's a Creeping Chill. All right, and an Arc Amoeba. Yeah. Yeah, Dredge. <laughs> pretty good if you don't have graveyard hate let's make someone die maybe on turn three <laughs> let's do some necro things this and eh, we're gonna have to uh lean on our fetch lands i guess to decrease our life total not a no necro no necro unlike teaching your own zoomers about necro where that deck you gotta have Necro. Mulligan to four find the necro this deck we really want necro it is our most important card but, ooh, all right. Well, you know what's a natural enemy of monkeys? <laughs> Apparently orcs. <laughs> uh, I think we shock ourselves here just to get our life total down for the shadow. Uh, how aggressively do we want to shock ourselves? Are we fetching out another? Yeah, let's get a swamp. We have two more fetches in hand. Let's kill the, kill the monkey. Ship the turn. Well... It always feels good not to get snowballed by the stupid monkey. Oh, Monastery Swiss Spear. Okay. Okay, but Raid Reckoner. All right. This is the balancing act. 
<laughs> the trickiest matchup with this deck is definitely Burn. It's not a bad matchup per se, it's just tricky. Because we got to figure out how much life do we lose. Oh, God, that's a necro. Uh, okay. Well, do we even necro this game? I think we're just going to Molten Collapse and blow up both. This seems better. Wow. It is rare to trigger both molds on Molten Collapse, but sniping that Akaiba Raid Reckoner is actually sweet. I think we do not attack, though. Now that we have necro, we kind of... Oh, how do we do this? Like, we have to balance the damage our opponent can potentially deal to us, and they look like a burn deck. If you're playing Kyber Raid Dragoner, you're pretty burny. They're going to have bolts and maybe more. So we have to weigh how much life do we lose ourselves? How much do we trust our opponent to lose the life for us? All right, bolts face. Skewer the crit. Wow, they are, like, straight up Rakdos bird. How do we do this? So if we play Shadow. We get in for one. They go to 18. Shadow hits you. We hit for eight. They go to 10. We fling. Not quite lethal. With Layla, it is lethal, right? That's that's the best bet. Okay, Ramnop ruins. Are we dead? <gasps> Mount Doom to ping us. Okay, now we win. Now we should win. Because we get to play Layla. With two eyes. Hit ya. The shadow doesn't really matter. Opponent down to seven. And we got a plan for this. <laughs> Gonna do a little cell sorting. Let's, uh, yeah. Target you and you and dead. Ooh, all right. Well, we might have got a little lucky that our opponent ran out of action there, but uh, that's how you beat Burn, apparently. <laughs> sweet, sweet. No necro necessary. We are getting aggro. <laughs> Being risky in Timeless. And what are you up to, Vito? That's Vito, right? I think I think that's a Vito avatar. Blight Step and Thought sees you. That's the Primeval Titan deck. Well... I mean, I guess we just take the Titan and let him ramp. I mean, if you're not ramping into Titan, I guess we don't really care. We're probably just going to ritual out Layla next turn unless we top deck something. Ponent. Well, I expect we're getting Kami whammied. Basically, Alchemy, Abriel Grazer. Which, I guess means I should hate it even more than Abriel Grazer. But boy, do I hate Abriel Grazer. The betrayer. The betrayer that is Abriel Grazer. So many rituals. Uh, well, dark ritual and den of the bugbear and get down Layla. Do a little Futurama ing. Get in. Exile a card. Grow the Layla. Well, don't mind exiling the shadow mortality. Our life total. Our opponent is not going to damage us much here. We don't have a necro at the moment, so we can't lose enough life to get down the shadow very easily. So a second shadow doesn't do much. So this matchup, basically, you gotta win before uh, Field of the Dead takes over the ground. I mean, Primeval Titan's also big, right? But if we can get our opponent low enough, we can win through the zombies with a fling. So opponent tutors up a land. Opponent. All right, plays the tap land. Sure. Well, there's our fling. That kind of means we're like a necro away from maybe combo killing. We're at 18. No, it's good. It's good, bud. It's good. We're winning. All right, get in with the Layla. Bear, I think Bear thought we were losing, but no, there's, there's no Primeval Titan yet, bud. We're good. Opponent's going to do some chumping. Well, we get a land. Do we shock with it? That's the question. And let's go. No, Bear, it's okay, bud. It's okay. We're winning, bud. We're winning. It's good. It's good. Bear's concerned. He gets concerned in, uh, in these Primeval Titan matchups. He's seen me play Amulet Titan in Modern. He knows. He knows how scary Primeval Titan is. So he knows the matchup can be can be touch and go. But I think I think we're good this game, bud. I think we're good. Opponent, more Sylvan's Crying. Sure, they can do that all day. I don't even know if Sylvan's Crying. I mean, I guess it gets your Field of the Dead, right? Or I guess Castle Garen Break in this case to get on a Primeval Titan. Is it that good when you're not getting like Trom lands? I don't know if it's worth it. Ugh, even more lands. We would really love a Necro. Necro would make us very happy. Necro just straight up wins us the game, actually. Layla, attack. Orcish Boomaster. Well, up to five power. Hit you to 11. Maybe we can just win fairly. I guess it's not impossible. We also have a Den of the Bugbear that we could, like, ritual out an attack with. Well, hit him to 11 around the Bowmaster. It's good, but it's good. I don't know if you can hear Bear snuffing and scuffing. About it. He really doesn't like this matchup. Lots of lots of concerns about the matchup. Play the fetch land, pass the turn. 
The thing Bear hates the most, though, it's not from Evil Titan, it's actually horses. I don't know why he hates horses, but my god. We, li uh, we live in a... <laughs> in a uh, rural upstate new york so there's a lot of amish around with their like horse and buggies going down the roads and every time we go by bear flips out if a horse comes on tv oh my goodness he absolutely I was watching uh, i can't watch game of thrones with bear because there's too many horses and he just <laughs> he's constantly freaking out whenever they have those long scenes where like oh we're riding horses for 20 minutes and having a conversation he can't handle it he just can't take it well okay there's the primeval titan all right, if you want to bark, go for it, bud. <laughs> they did play the Titan. I assume they get Field of the Dead. The question is, can we just kill them anyways? It's honestly going to depend on if our opponent plays around Fling. I think that's the question. If they... All right, so they get Field of the Dead, Colony Garden. So they make some blockers. Two zombies and a plant. The question's going to be, how do they block here? How do they block? All right, well, get the tap land. Untap. All right, we draw. Castle Lockwain doesn't really do anything. How do we do this? How do we do this? Do we fire up Den of the Bugbear? How do we... <clears throat> we do not need a ton of damage, but we need some. I mean, I guess we can wait a turn. Let's get in with a Layla. See what we draw. Oh, there's the Necro. Oh, wait. Do they... Does our opponent know how this works? Now they have to kill the Layla. Oh, they don't... They don't know. They don't know about the Fling. They don't know that we're playing Fling. Okay, opponent just jumps. And that means they they actually tie. Oh, you needed to actually block with the Primeval Titan. Dark Ritual, Necro. And now we exile some cards. Make Layla into a lethal threat. We got the Fling in hand. One thing I really looked into for this deck, and I couldn't find one that was good enough, an instant speed Fling would be really sweet. Because then we could like not have the Fling in hand. Exile a bunch of cards to Necro, find the fling, fling on our end step. You'd have to play literal fling though, and I don't know if literal fling is good enough compared to Kalos Sword. Well, about it. <laughs> How about uh, a little Layla to the face? <laughs> and uh, got him? Seeing if we can uh, kill someone on turn two. Hopefully our opponent, maybe ourselves. This hand, I mean, we got a Necro, so we're going to keep. <laughs> necro and a couple of bolts. Don't thaw seize us. We just want to draw the cards and lose all of our life, opponent. <laughs> I promise if you if you leave our Necro, we, we, will, uh, we will deal at least 10 damage to our own face. <laughs> Probably more. Uh, Blood Crypt untapped and Bolt the Shaman. Basically the timeless version of Bolt the Birds. This format should probably just have birds. Why do we not have Birds of Paradise on Arena? Dark Ritual. Well, it's a good way to get down a Necro a bit early. We can even do a little Thought Season first, just to make sure the coast is clear-ish. Yeah, let's Thought Seize. Get a look at what our opponent's up to. Oh god. Ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Well, we're gonna take that Natural Order. So, opponent's doing scary stuff. Actually... <laughs> Oh, uh, we played we played our version of Natural Order Sneak Attack a little while ago. The deck's actually kind of busted. Thankfully, our opponent's hand is not scary right now. It could get very scary very quickly. There is a concern that this could this could get out of hand real fast. But hopefully, that doesn't happen. Let's do some necroing. Well, I'm not gonna grab the Bloodstain Mire. We're down to nine. I mean, we really need to hit a payoff, right? We have double fling in hand. We just need to hit, like, the Layla's and the... All right, get a bunch of triggers. The Death Shadows and so forth. Ugh. Well, okay, we hit a Shadow of Mortality. That's something. That's something. The question's gonna be, does our opponent find a way to cheat their big things into play? Opponent's at 16. One attack plus a fling is 14. So we need our opponent to, like, lose two life somehow? I guess we can just bolt their face. That's probably the <laughs> probably the easier way to do that. Let's play a shadow. And in theory, this puts our opponent to dead next turn. If they can't do something ridiculous, we're gonna go to, yeah, let's go to four and then pass the turn. This might've been a little too risky. So we are gonna have to crack this Bloodstained Mire to get a red source so we can bolt plus fling. Yeah, we didn't draw a red source. I mean, we don't need four Kalos Cell Swords. Unfortunately, I hate discarding them because it lets our opponent know about them, but hopefully it doesn't matter at this point. So basically, unless our opponent can kill us this turn, which 
a bolt unfortunately could possibly do because we might have got a little bit too greedy with our <laughs> with our how can you resist the power of necro we're at four but we got to crack this fetch all right let's see what our opponent can do and oh passing okay well it looks like we just stranded them with their bombs so no bolt no bolt no bolt all right uh blood grip tapped okay looks like no death uh go to combat attack you for seven Oh, part of what makes this deck so good is people just don't expect the the Callus Hell Swords fling. Like they don't think they're dead yet. So opponent, uh, seven more down to one. And would you like to crack your fetch? <laughs> Actually, we'll just pull your face. <laughs> well, uh, Necro. When we draw it, things go really well. Against the odds, time we are trying to kill people. <laughs> Sometimes our opponent, sometimes ourselves. On um, turn two ish, and this hand is really good. Not quite the nut draw. For the to have the literal turn two kill, we need double dark ritual. Aboriel Blaza. Well, at least it's not the alchemy version. Opponent Colony Garden, putting some blockers out. The funny thing about this Primeval Titan deck is it's considered to be a top tier deck. It's considered to be one of the most played decks in Timeless. I feel like I never lose to it. I think the deck actually kind of sucks. I hate to say that. Actually, no. It's got Abra's Razor and Primeval Titan. I don't hate to say that. Uh, but I feel like I always beat it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the decks I play. But the deck really does not scare me. I think Field of that is good. I think Primeval Titan is good. I think we pitch the extra Necro. There is some risk. They could have Besaju or something. But opponent. So they're gonna get the Primeval Titan probably, but we can thought seize it. So next turn we're probably doing nothing-ish. Boy, we really gotta win this time. Now that I've just talked some smack about this deck, we, be we better actually win. This would be embarrassing time to actually lose to this deck. <laughs> now that I just called it out. Oh, oh, they're gonna get some Necro hate. I didn't know that was a card that people played. Yeah, Stromkirk Vanguard actually kinda good here. I mean, I guess we can still Thought Seize it, but let's untap, play the fast land, Thought Seize to defend the Necro. Our opponent needs two more, well, yeah, they need, well, ugh. they need more mana. They need more mana. Once they get mana, their hand is going to pop off. Let's draw some Necro cards. Now oh, there's a Death Shadow and a Fling. Okay, those are actually pretty good draws. We'll discard the Shock. All right, all right, all right. Well, that uh, those were pretty good hits. So opponent does have Castle Garen Briggs, so they're technically a land away. All right, Fierce Empath. Opponent's gonna have all the bombs in hand, but they need one more mana to get to them. <laughs> so let's hope our opponent does not draw another land. Do we run out Layla? Do we bolt here? Let's just untap. Play the land. So we can, our options are what? Death Shadow Bowmaster. Death Shadow Demonic Tutor. Layla, nothing else. We don't need to lose more life because we have the Necro. Yeah, let's just get down Layla. I mean, this, this is the highest upside long-term, right? If our opponent whiffs on a land and doesn't get to Primeval Titan, Cool. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go as far as we can go here. Opponent does not block, which is greedy. I'm a greedy magic player, and uh, this is greedy even for me. You got a, we got a plant token of zero one. Opponent. Well, uh, you might have just killed yourself, honestly. Can we go far enough? So we can go, <laughs> we can go to three, right? Because our opponent can only hit us for two. So that means they take ten, and we got the fling. So this means we should win even if they draw the land for Primeval Titan. How do you not block there? Oh my goodness. Oh, I honestly did not consider the possibility of our opponent not blocking. It seems so, like such an easy block with the plant. What are these creatures even got? A, you got two useless creatures that are only good for blocking. Instead, our opponent takes 10, which actually just puts them to, to dead here. All right, we'll do some discarding. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So the question is, how, do, how does this go wrong now? Oh, actually, I forgot about this. Normally this doesn't matter, but we also get to trigger Layla by discarding the hand size because Necro exiles a card from the graveyard. That's, that synergy comes up, well, there's a land. This synergy almost never comes up, but 
because usually our opponent just dies to the Layla right away. Uh, but that actually is relevant here because our opponent could theoretically get life gain lands. But now Layla is so big, it doesn't actually matter, right? They could gain four potentially, but I'm pretty sure this just means our opponent's dead, right? We just throw the Layla at him. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. That's why I'm not shook about this. <laughs> about this Primeval Titan deck. Opponent, Field of the Dead. But you, Kabog, actually just grows our Layla more. Thank you very much. <laughs> Make some zombies. The good news is that, so the Primeval Titan deck is legit good at clogging up the board. The problem is we really don't care because we're just going to, yeah, opponent's going to put us to one. Oh, we necroed properly this game. Exactly enough life to stay alive. And throw it at your face. Throw it at your face. GG, primetime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I bet the primetime deck is very good against decks that we don't play. It's got to be because why else is everyone playing it? But the decks we play, I just I feel like I never lose to that deck. It's a little slow, but it does have a lot of power on like turn four. I wish we could get the Necro down earlier. If we could Dark Rit out the Necro, this end would be really nice. As it is, it's very borderline. We do have the Necro, which is huge, but we're on the draw and not doing anything. Oh no, oh no. Well, okay. <clears throat> I was gonna say not doing anything until we play the Necro. Now, oh, and we even drew the Dark Ritual. That was a really big thought seize. Oh, well, now we just might not do anything, period. New plan, let's do nothing forever. I mean, we just got to draw another Necro, right? And we're good. Our mana base is and not very good at losing life. We have a single fetch land. Let's just play the fast land, I guess. I was trying to think, like, is there any reason we just, like, aggro, fetch shock our face, but our, like, we're not going to lose enough life for this hand? We got to draw that necro. Opponent. Death right, Shaman. Tossies is a very good card. It is a very good card. There's a reason it's a staple, and that's because there's a lot of degenerate payoffs in Timeless, and uh, you need some defense. Oh, I'm very, oh my goodness, we got super lucky. Okay, uh, well, life is good again. <laughs> life was bad, but now it's good again forever <laughs> uh all right dark ritual and we even have enough mana that we can that we can uh, draw down enough to just run out the death shadow here i guess there's a world where we could die to like death right plus burn spells or something very curious if you're a timeless fan which you should be because the format's pretty awesome what cards would you like to see added to the format? Because we know, like, so we know we're getting Modern Horizons 3. Probably not designed specifically for Timeless, but it is coming to Arena for Timeless. Plus, there's, like, anthologies. There's all the special sheets we get, special guests uh, in standard sets. Very curious. Is there any card that sticks out, like, oh, it'd be so sweet if they added this. I think where I'm at right now with this format, we'll get our uh, Death Shadow down. Where I'm at right now is I kind of want them to model it after Legacy. I think vintage staples may be a bit much, like uh, Power 9, Shops, and so forth. But I think modeling it after Legacy, Force of Wills, <clears throat> Wasteland, perhaps. Um, that style of stuff, Hydroblast, Pyroblast, really love to see added to this format. That's that's the stuff I want to see first, is more Legacy staples. Well, let's uh, do a little discarding. Lands and a Shadow Mortality. And now things are actually pretty sweet. Opponents at 15, we have Shadows of Mortalities for days. We got a Death Shadow down. We have a Fling for the Death Shadow. And we have Demonic Tutor if we need it in Athosis. There is some chance we win the game next turn. Not a big chance. But if our opponent, like, okay, they're going to make some manas. Like, if our opponent does not block this Death Shadow, we do just win. Oh, Dark, oh God. Okay, are we dead? Dark Ritual. Oh, oh no. Oh God. What? Dark Ritual Natural Order Galt? What? Wait, so we might be dead right- Oh my goodness, Andatroxa. Reveals a huge pile of cards. <laughs> There's no way we can win from here, right? We can't get- <sighs> The problem is we can't get our Death Shadow big enough to fling it. Opponent, Mountain, Demonic Tutor, Ragavan. I don't know about this Natural Order plan. I don't know about Ragavan and Natural Order decks. How do you get enough green creatures to Natural Order, but- it worked out here. Well, we're doing something busted, and in this case, our opponent did something even more busted. It is necro time, and this hand's really good. We don't have a dark ritual, but we have everything else we could possibly want. Lango. 
Spike field hazard and Mishra's bobble. Sure. Are we cracking the bobble? Unfortunately, we don't have mana to get this Bowmasters down and punish it, but that's fine. Our dream draw is, I think, just Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual would be sweet. Opponent draws with a bobble. Well, all right. Black Cleave Cliffs is fine. <laughs> we might be able to set the combo just slowly. Like, we might be able to... Okay. Kumana face is... Uh, we might be able to play Necro and then Layla and just win that way. Oh, all right. Skewers our face. Well, let's play this Bowmasters. Uh, so all this burn is going to make it hard to combo kill. Maybe we just have to forget the Necro. Yeah, I think we forget the Necro for now. Let's just get down Layla. Attack, attack. Leave back one blocker in case there's a haste creature. Uh, get a Layla out of the way. That's fine since... It is legendary. All right, opponent, what you got? Play with fire, sure. Well, we're almost in Death Shadow range. Idol onto the Great Revel. Well, that'll put us in Death Shadow range. We draw a bolt. Do we need to kill the Eidolon? What is our game plan here? So we kill the Eidolon, attack for a bunch, draw with Layla, grow Layla, a shadow? I don't think we can't quite win, right? If we bolt the idol on, we go to 11. We have to shock fetch, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna be too low on life, I think, to combo kill. So we go to 11. If we fetch shock, we're at eight. So we could activate Necro seven times. Yeah, we're literally one point, one point short, I think. Wow, so close. Well, let's get in with Layla. Let's get in with. Yeah, let's just go just Layla. Another Necro. Well, uh, play the Death Shadow. Play the Tap Land. I mean, this is still fine, right? There is a world where we die to a flurry of Lightning Bolts. Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay, that's not a Bolt. That's good. Bump in the Night. That is a Bolt. You know what we'd really love to hit? A Fling. A fling would be the best. Do we have more bolts? We do. All right, down to five. And then we go to four by cracking the fetch. Four is not bolt range. Maybe we don't crack the fetch at all. Another fetch. Oh, play the necro. Do some attacking. Our opponent does have to do some blocking, right? Opponent blocks that shadow. Wow. Wow, they chose death. Oh my god, they chose death. <laughs> oh no! We go to one! We go to one and they die. They had to block... Oh, they had to block the Layla. Oh. <laughs> well... <laughs> opponent. I mean, we go to one, but one's not dead. Our opponent goes to zero. Zero is dead. Should have blocked. Should have blocked against odds time we are trying to do ridiculous things with necro and also death shadow and also layla in timeless of course magic's best format at the moment i would say uh this hand no necro but we do have the demonic tutor if we want to find it i think we just play the channel and pass the turn what you got opponent what you got temple garden untapped and the wildest of nakatals all right opponent passes we draw a fast land well play the fast land sadly cannot can't currently kill the nakatals let's just demonic tutor for probably necro i wonder if this is too greedy i mean necro is our most explosive card for sure opponent hits us Dark Ritual is a sweet draw. Wow, we can do some things, can't we? Okay, wait, how much can we do here? Dark Ritual. Wow, I think we can double Dark Ritual, Necro, Death Shadow, Shadow Mortality. Kind of a ridiculous turn three, although it is possible we are punished by death. Because <laughs> that means we gotta go to seven life, and uh, uh, Domain usually has Tribal Flames and Lightning Bolt. Well, Necro, activate it a lot of times. The good news is... Our odds of winning next turn are pretty high if we're still alive. I mean, this is part of the fun of the deck, right? Like, we do what we do. If it works, it's spectacular. If it doesn't work, then I guess we end up dying to tribal flames. And <laughs> that is also fair, because someone's going to die. Someone's going to die with this deck. Hopefully, usually it's our opponent. Sometimes it's us, and that's the, the price of the archetype. The question is... 
we could be less greedy. We could just draw to 12. Play Death Shadow, play Bowmaster. But how do we pass up Shadow Mortality, Death Shadow, theoretical, probable win next turn? I guess we can go to eight, right? We can go to eight, we have four mana. So if we go to eight, we play Shadow Mortality for three, Death Shadow for one. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're committed. This is our plan. If we die, we die. Them fetching out untapped red mana is a little scary. All right, so we're at eight. That means we can play a Death Shadow. We can play a Shadow Mortality. We draw about a million cards, maybe a few million. And then hopefully we hit a fling and get them. I mean, opponents at 15, that's not the highest life total. The domain deck kicks out, all right. Ley line binding going at what? Shadow of Mortality, interesting. I mean, it makes sense not to go for Necro at this point because we've already <laughs> we've already spent most of our life. All right, another Death Shadow, another Death Shadow. Fling, okay, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, can we avoid getting burnt out is the question. Discard, discard discard and yeah we're not gonna use bow masters this game all right well what do you got opponent do you have the tribal flames how many lightning bolts do you have tap land okay that's that's fine that's good tribal oh, opponent oh no oh no moments before the disaster <laughs> <laughs> tries to burn out the death shadow instead we will activate necro lose a life grow the death shadow yeah well okay now i'm feeling much better about this the fact that they tribal flames the death shadow is wild all right now we now we put them to the do you block test do you block oh my they chose death okay uh so we will crack this fetch grow the death shadow <laughs> shock it in grow the death shadow hit you for nine and then last but not least actually let's let's do a little a little flex uh death shadow death shadow <laughs> just just so you know we got it and then uh thought seize to get our life total down just a, a little lower oh my oh wow they did have double tribal flames and then we'll throw it at your face now that <laughs> now that we have shown we have all the dead shadows in the world Death shadow tron assembled and uh Wow, opponent made some weird choices in that one, but uh, we'll take it. The turn two kill seems pretty rare, which I guess makes sense, considering you have to have two specific cards and two, <laughs> two dark rituals. It's a very specific combination of things to actually win on turn two. The good news is, even when we're not winning on turn two, this deck seems kind of busted. Necro is a hell of a drug, as they say. <laughs> It is, it is crazy, just the power of Necro. Let's do what we came here to do, which is fetch land, crack the fetch land, grab a Schwamperino, and then Dark Ritual, out a Necro. Well, we gotta activate it at least some, right? Because we're not drawing next turn, so we gotta draw at least a few cards. Although we don't wanna draw too far, because we want as many of these activations to happen while Layla's on the battlefield is, oh, that's Dark Ritual. That's Dark Ritual. Can we win next turn? Oh, oh no, opponent has Dark Ritual. Oh God, oh no, oh no. Oh boy, Necro? <laughs> Thread Spider, Thread Spider. Wait, yeah. <laughs> you could have let me guess a hundred times with that Dark Ritual on the stack, what our opponent was ritualing out. I would not have got to Thran Spider. Literally, 100 guesses, I would not have said Thran Spider. It, that's how far off the radar the Thran Spider is. I don't think we can quite win this turn, right? Not quite. So I think we're gonna go on a slightly different plan, which is play multiple Death Shadows and give up on the, the Layla kill here. Thran Spider, what is our opponent up to? This is the first, not only the first Thran Spider off Dark Ritual I've seen in Timeless, this is the first, ooh, there's our fling. This is a, the first Thran Spider I've seen in Timeless. I think we actually, yeah, we'll just discard the bowl. We'll, we'll save the Layla just in case. We can still get some value out of it. It's still like a hasty threat we can play. Well, let's see if our opponent feels like blocking today. <laughs> Do you feel like blocking or do you feel like dying? Our opponent might not really have a choice here. So they do block, which is all he can do. The problem our opponent's gonna have, they need a removal on this other Death Shadow. 
if we get in the hit with this death shadow it's game so necro 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 up to 10 power oh okay well <laughs> and uh yeah that was a good attempt that was a good attempt dark ritual dark ritual and let's do a little flinging callous sword throw it at your face well we learned that dark ritualing out necro slightly more powerful than dark ritualing out thran spider just a, just a smidge <laughs> So what do we learn this week about Rakdos Necro in Time Bliss? And I gotta say, I love this deck. So far, I've played, I don't know, a ton of matches with it because I just really like playing this deck. 64% win rate so far. And I gotta say, the deck actually feels pretty competitive. We got so many cool kills with this deck. We actually got the straight up turn two kill with Layla. We got some sweet Death Shadow, Shadow Mortality kills, a million different flame kills. Plus Necro, the power is just so immense. It feels so good to get out on the battlefield. So if you like being super aggro and you don't mind taking on some risk and maybe killing yourself sometimes because that does happen with this deck. We saw that a few times where we get our life total too low, opponent has a bird spell or a haze creature, we just end up dying. But if you don't mind taking on a little bit of risk, this deck is actually really fun and I think it's actually really good too. So that is turn to kill Rakdos Necro. That's been our Against the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope... Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.